So uh, my name is Chipang Zheng. I go by Phil. So I'm the director of uh, Applied Operational Research Lab uh, in the Industrial Engineering and Management Systems. So uh, my main research area is uh, operational research theory and also different applications like in energy, transportation, healthcare, communication, so on and so forth. Uh, because we are more the soft side of the different kind of management across different type of systems. So my main teaching uh, experience involves like undergraduate uh, education on operational research. So there are like two courses for that and also uh, for the uh, and also for probability and experimental design uh, is also part of my teaching responsibility in the past. Uh, and for the graduate classes, I offer like uh, pure optimization courses like uh, linear programming, uh, nonlinear programming, and stochastic optimization, and also experimental design. So uh, my lab is uh, like the name of the presentation, and it's in uh, like engineering two. And then we have uh, three faculty members in the lab, and one postdoc and six PhD student, uh, PhD student. And also I have an owner and a graduate scholar. So these are my uh, like uh, contact information. If you have any uh, like interest or questions, please reach out uh, to me. Thank you. So uh, I will discuss a little bit like why we're doing this research for my team, and then what's the goal, and then like how we want to achieve the goal. So as you know, like maybe you don't believe it, but uh, anyway, in a couple of uh, 10 years or 20 years, so we are heading to Mars for sure. Uh, that's uh, um, uh, questionable. But before we can do that, we are constrained on planet Earth. So we can go nowhere. Just like uh, pe before people find out America and then the other continents were packed. Uh, so, as you know, like the population are growing and living standards are ever uh, improving. So we have different new technologies. Uh, so we are not uh, spec uh, specifically creating any technology. So, but our main goal is to how to utilize different resources, technologies together and explore the synergies to do more with less. So that's our goal. Like we have different kinds of systems. How do we optimally or do better utilizing them together? Uh, for example, like uh, because like all the masses are like the connecting uh, points because like uh, when we use energy, we can use energy for uh, food, we can use energy for water, we can use energy for like engineering. So energy can connect different systems so water can and like a food can, and also like uh, the communication system also connect a lot of other systems. But how can we utilize them in a more efficient way? That's our goal. So that's why I have been collaborating with uh, various faculty members in different departments, like uh, Dr. Chen, I was, I have, I'm working with him on the field system, and also like uh, uh, for engine, like for electrical engineering, I was working on some uh, like electrification of cars, uh, of like power systems. Uh, and also like for computer science, I have been doing some blockchain and also uh, like network optimization. Uh, so, and then I will go through three different fields we have been pushing uh, in our lab. So they have been supported by various uh, like uh, government agencies or UCF departments. Uh, so the first one I want to talk about is energy system research. Uh, so for this one, uh, our main goal is how to optimize the whole system because the, like for producing uh, power, we can use renewable power, we can use, use nuclear, we can use uh, like natural gas, uh, hydro, and also we are concerned the CO2 emissions these days because that's causing global warming. And then it's, uh, it's hard to like uh, optimize one part and then it will like say if you want to optimize the cost, uh, certainly it will use more coal and then it will drive up the emissions from CO2. So how do we balance that? How do we manage to do it uh, for the long term? So that's our goal. So we are 
uh, doing research across the whole spectrum of energy systems. So uh, we are dealing with the energy system planning, like a uh, long term, like how do we allocate resources in long term, like hydro uh, or or thermal or like other renewables or like a nuclear. So and also we are dealing with the operational. Uh, details of the electric uh, electrical system, like uh, when there is a blackout, how do we revive revive them? And if we have to do maintenance, what time we need to go to do the maintenance? And also because power, like right now, natural gas is kind of like uh, CO2 neutral. Uh, so how do we design or improve the current? As you can see in the middle, that's the natural gas transmission system. How do we design it? How do we increase the LNG port or decrease it? So those are like a long-term planning, short-term planning, we cover all of them. And also we're talking about, uh, we are dealing with uh, like electricity pricing in short term because we have more volatility when we introduce a lot of uh, uh, renewable energy in the power system. Uh, so we have different publications in different areas, like uh, not only power system, but also in operation research and also in energy, uh, like environmental systems. So the next one, uh, next direction uh, we are pushing is uh, like similar to what Dr. Chan was uh, talking about, the fuel system. But uh, in above that, uh, in addition to that, uh, we are also working on electrification of the transportation system because you know, like uh, not everybody is driving Tesla now, but uh, you know, California just announced a policy to uh, stop selling uh, gas cars starting from 2035. So that will receive a big push for electric cars, but electric, electrical cars will introduce new problems for the power system because it involve uh, like at least 50% increase of your transmission. And also it will provide the system with more battery system. Like a Tesla already installed uh, power walls in one town in Australia that involves several thousand of uh, like households. And how do we mitigate the, the new challenge? So that's what we are doing. We're exploring the synergy between transportation system and energy system. And also uh, in the future, if we really uh, can go to Mars, we have to introduce another dimension in the fuel system that's air, because not only you need to take care about the others, you cannot assume uh, for granted about air. So you have to take control of airs, of air system. So, and then the next one is pretty new. We are working on it's the blockchain system for energy um, uh, because we know like uh, for now there's a, a like a acceleration of uh, the penetration of power system. So more people are installing solar solar like panels on the on top of their roof, and also Tesla is uh, is like uh, trying to sell is trying to sell the 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 roof power roof. So that will create a huge like uh, opportunity for research because like uh, uh, there will be transactions between household and with another household. You don't have to sell back the energy back to the uh, producer. That's a loss. So you just sell to your neighbors. So that's going to be uh, like in the future. There's no like pure consumers. We call them prosumers. If they're prosumers, you have to design some system for them to transact uh, smoothly. So the best way, in our opinion, is the blockchain because that gives you more freedom. There's no monopoly. So the cost can be driven down dramatically. So we design the system and also we implement uh, like by using simulation and all compared to mathematical uh, like a game theory results. So as you can see on the right lower corner, uh, like the, the cost by using blockchain implemented for uh, for a system with higher solar penetration can drive down the total cost dramatically. This is the, in our opinion, this is the future. So you have more distributed renewable generation and also you have the prosumers instead of consumers purely. Uh, so that's one push. Uh, and also we, uh, it, like I have been talking to Siemens and also uh, with, uh, Duke Power so it seems it's uh, not that easy for them to accept the new idea because we, like they still, uh, like uh, still have the old mentality to have the centralized distribution because like they don't want to lose the control of the system. So uh, it, 
it need a bigger push in this direction. And the next one is about like uh, pure optimization is network science and optimization applications we have been doing. We work closely with the Air Force. So in this case, we not only studying like uh, the network science side of the pure mathematics, but also we uh, study implementation and application of it. So uh, one example is social media. For social media, there's cascading spread of the news and misinformation. So this is very important because the election is near. So uh, how we can stop it and how can we address it effectively? And also for the COVID spread, that can also be modeled by network optimization. Uh, so, and also for health care, because, because COVID, there are more like, uh, like um, remote health care. So, and then how do we do the matching? So in the, on the, you see the, the red, the, the blue and the yellow dots, that's how we match the patients with the, like, uh, with the physicians optimally, not in terms of uh, like uh, cost, in terms of the social uh, welfare, because some people might have different preference. How do we match them? So we design different optimization models. And then I think it's mature for those like a distance, like remote uh, doctor to use them or, or systems because the big systems are like growing uh, in that direction. So we have uh, also we have different uh, like publications in different areas across a, a large spectrum. Uh, so uh, what's next? In my, uh, in our opinion, you know, based on the lab, so we have uh, six directions we want to push harder. So the first one is still like uh, the planning and operations of energy power system. And also we will uh, study, introduce another dimension to the fuel system, which is air. Uh, I think that's the future, especially we are able to move to Mars or some in the future, the next generation or somebody else. So the electrification and autonomous transportation is the future, it's, it's close, it's coming. So that's where we can uh, jump in to contribute uh, our uh, specialties to uh, make it more efficient. And also, uh, since we have a, a, a decent size uh, like a project with Air Force Research Lab, uh, so we will continue the, the research on network science and optimization. And also uh, for, uh, so we have, because we are working on the optimization side of the network, so we find out uh, some AI applications very uh, useful because we can identify uh, some critical infrastructures by using all AI techniques. And also blockchain application will be another big push. We have two students in that area. Uh, so we have implemented, uh, but it's like, uh, it's, I don't know if that's more, more the vast that people can accept, but I think because that can give people more democracy and and drive down the cost. That's the main uh, like advantage. So that's another uh, big direction we want to go along with. Uh, so I would want to thank all the like the supporting uh, agencies and also the departments uh, for our achievement. Without the support from the agencies, we wouldn't be able to finish, accomplish anything uh, by our own. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to uh, stop here and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.